I can't even tell if this is in focus. My eyes are so tired. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do a little vlog today. Um, Cause I feel like I haven't done a vlog in a while. So my blood sugar is, what is, I just looked at it, 92, I need coffee. Um, I just woke up, I am in my pajamas because I don't have any meetings this morning. So I'm not, I'm not gonna look presentable because why would I if I don't need to look nice for anyone? <laughs> um, but I have, I'm gonna, I don't even know, I need coffee so bad. Let me get coffee and then I'll and then I'll pick this back up. We've got a full cup of coffee. And I went with the New Mexico mug because I am almost done watching Breaking Bad for the first time. Uh, I'm on like halfway through season five, so it's getting kind of crazy. But anyway, um, I woke up at 92 this morning. My hair looks not cute. Woke up at 92, which I'm happy about because yesterday I woke up at like to something and I don't know what was going on but my blood sugar was like 200 I had like no insulin in my pump it was like I was like what what a Monday morning um but yeah I just have some work stuff to do I have an appointment this afternoon or sorry this morning that I need to go to and then I have kickball tonight but I was like oh let me film a little vlog because I haven't done a vlog in a while and I also have this weird cut on my nose I have no idea how it got there but anyway um, yeah, so I'm just gonna drink my coffee. I am gonna take a little bit of insulin for my coffee. Um, cause I find it makes me, oh no, I'm 87. I guess I let her go up just a smidgelion. Um, and then I'm gonna have some breakfast before I go to my appointment. I'm going back to the cardiologist cause it's like a follow up, but I don't know what it's for. So I'm just gonna keep sussing the guy out. But then after I'm gonna be like, I don't think I need to see you for like a year. I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, that's what I'm doing today. Thank you. Bye. Okay. So it's like an hour later. Um, my blood sugar is 83 and perfect. I'm getting a little peckish, if you will. So I might go have a mango and some apples. Um, cause I don't like to eat breakfast this early. Cause then I usually eat lunch later. Anyway, that's besides the fact, but I also thought I need a little break from work. So I was like, let me, um, update them on what's happened since I've talked to you guys last, which would have been I think I talked to you guys right when I got back from Japan. Yeah. So, actually, the day I filmed that video, I later went to kickball and broke my elbow. Um, this elbow. So, I... It doesn't look broken. It looks fine. Which, like, it's getting there. But, um, to start, I was running to first base at kickball and I tripped and fell on my face. And got a radial head non imp dislocated impact fracture. I got an impact fracture, non-displaced, not dislocated. Um, so honestly, like the best break that you could get, like I can still move my arm and stuff and like it's encouraged to move my arm, but that was painful for a couple of weeks. Um, and I like haven't been able to like work out the way that I was, which has made my blood sugars really crazy because like my arm hurt and then and then I was like going to the bike because I was like, okay, I'll do the little like recumbent bike thing where you like sit back, doesn't mess with your arm at all um, while like my arm is healing. But then actually this just happened last week is I got like a little infection in my toe. So I went to a podi podiatrist, a foot doctor or whatever, um, and had them take out my freaking ingrown toenails, which that's disgusting. But that was traumatic i literally almost passed out i've never been so close to almost passing out but my stepmom joyce is with me and she even was like you don't look good and i was like i don't feel good right now but i did not pass out i did come close but i didn't fully pass out but that was disgusting so all that to say is i feel like one i'm knocking on 30's door i turned 30 in like a couple of weeks and i'm like all this medical stuff is happening to me my toe my elbow i made it 30 years without breaking a bone come up like a month before my birthday and I break an elbow um a little bit I always tell people it's a little bit broken like I had to wear a sling but no cast and I can move it um but all that to say is my blood sugars have been crazy I feel because I haven't been as active which has made me realize how much I enjoy being active um which is good 
but I'm just frustrated that I feel like I can't be as active as I was. So that's been irritating, but um, I'm getting better. I'm hoping that I'm about to go back to the East Coast for like two weeks um, just to like hang out over there and escape from the heat. It's getting kind of hot here. And I'm hoping that when I come back from that, that I'll be good. Because when I come back from that, I'll go back to the toe guy and he'll look at my toe and like tell me if I'm good. Um, cause I'm trying, I'm trying to be so careful not to like mess with it because I don't want to get an infection because you know how that goes with diabetes is it's just like so sketchy. So I'm like really babying it, which I wish I didn't have to, but I also am trying not to get my toe cut off. Um, because I feel like that's a real thing, like with diabetes and infections and on your feet. So so that's that. I am getting my elbow re-x-rayed on Thursday because that will have been like six or four or six weeks since I actually broke it. Um, and we'll see if it's better. It feels better. It just hurts when I go straight. And every now and then when I pick something heavy up, I feel it up in my elbow. But other than that, it feels really good. But I just can't believe I tripped over my own two feet playing kickball. That's crazy. Anyway, that's a little update. Oh, all my lights just turned off because it's 8.30 and everything is on a timer. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to cover a mango right now and eat that because I'm trying to eat these. I got them from Costco, so I got like six at a time. Um, but I'm trying to eat them before they go bad. And I realized when I got them, I have no clue how to cut a mango, but I have since learned. So I'm going to take a little insulin for that, go eat that. And I actually need to like take a shower semi soon because my appointment's in like two hours, but it's also literally around the corner, so it's fine. But anyway, that's what I'm gonna go do. Bye. Hello again. <laughs> First of all, I need to charge this camera while I'm gone. Uh, I'm gonna try to remember that. Second of all, I just took a little, I ate a mango, I ate two mangoes. I'm not good at eating mangoes. I don't know if I'll buy them again because they're kind of irritating to like cut up, but they do taste really good, so maybe I will buy them again. I just took some insulin for my breakfast that I am going to eat. The mangoes were like an appetizer, if you will, for breakfast. Um, I'm going to eat some yogurt and granola for breakfast. So I just took like 35 carbs and my blood sugar is still like 85, 82, sorry. Um... So that's that. I ate the mangoes and I realized I was hungrier for like actual breakfast. But I did, I did take the insulin in anticipation that I'm not going to eat for like 20 minutes. So that was my like pre bolus. So, all right, I'm <laughs> running late, a little bit surprise. Um, I took a shower and ate some breakfast, and um, my blood sugar started to go up because I think I ate, I didn't take enough insulin for those mangoes. So that's a bummer. But I'm like 197, 190 something right now. I'll put a screenshot here. Um, took a little extra insulin. Gonna go, you can't even see it. There's a huge bag of trash that I need to take out to the dumpster. And then go to my appointment and go to the grocery store. So that's on my list to do this morning. And yeah, I'll pick up the camera when I go back because I'm about to leave it here and charge it. This is just a, <laughs> I said I was gonna forget, but I'm not gonna forget to charge this camera. So, okay. Thank you, bye. Okay, I'm back. Um, I had a bit of a fiasco. I went to the wrong place, but I, so I was like 10 minutes late and oh my God, I was like sweating and I was like running in. But it's actually a really nice day out. It could have been hotter. So we got to the appointment. We were only 10 minutes late um, and it was all good. And it was just like a follow-up, I guess, to see how like my meds are doing. But the guy was like, no, you're pretty good for like a year or like six months. So I was like, sick. Um, yeah, so that's it. I just took a picture of my blood sugar. Um, I just checked my, checked, I just checked my Dexcom and it was, uh, 173. So I did stop at Trader Joe's to get some, like, I don't know, I just was driving by and I was like, oh, I, while I'm sitting here, I should stop. Um, and I got like a beef stick and I ate it on the way home. The jalapeno chums beef sticks are my favorite. I'm thinking of ordering like a whole case of them on Amazon. Because I can't find them anywhere other than Trader Joe's. And they're like $2 a stick at Trader Joe's. I don't know. We'll see. But I ate that for lunch like a little bit. But I've been doing this thing where I don't eat something, anything specific for lunch. I just like 
kind of grays throughout the afternoon. Like, I just am not into eating, like, big lunches right now, so that's what I'm going to kind of do. Um, that hasn't been the best for my blush curves, but I don't know. I'm just testing it. I'm just indecisive. So, anyway, that's what's going on now. I am going to go back to work, though, because I was gone longer than I thought I would be. Because I thought this appointment was just around the corner, and I went there, and the doors were locked. And I was like, that's a problem. So, but luckily, all was good. I will talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, I finally decided what I'm having for lunch. P.S. if you can hear that in the background, it's my washer and dryer because I'm doing laundry because I didn't realize that was today. But I'm indecisive about lunch, so I decided to just have a smoothie, which I get these little packs from Costco, and then you just stick one in a blender, and I use um, either, whoa, sorry, this was not level. I use either almond milk or um, I have to get the Fairlife like protein milk. Uh, for a little extra protein and then I do put in I think I'm gonna use almond milk no no I'll do protein milk because I'm trying to use this up um I put a little extra protein powder in there too just to like keep me full for longer and then I'll probably also have some I have some like wasabi soy almonds that I love so I'll probably have that too it's kind of a light lunch I'm not starving so that's it I'm gonna take like 40 carbs for all this so not a ton, but I think this has raspberries, strawberries, blueberries in it. And then these like, all my smoothies on the floor. Um, I don't know if you can see them, but they're like, I don't know, chopped up frozen spinach. So that's my lunch. And for the record, my blood sugar is 163. Thumbs up. Just thought I'd show you, here's the end of my smoothie. I get these little, um, or I have this Ninja blend thing, which I love because you just blend it right in the cup and it's not like a whole extra like blender thing and then you transfer that to a cup. So usually I just take the top off of this and use a straw and that's it. So, and this is the protein that I use. It's just the Target brand, which I, there's so much stuff on the internet about, oh, what's better, what's worse which one should you avoid but i just get the target one it's like 20 bucks for a whole thing and it lasts me like a couple months since i don't use it like every single day so that's what i like to use but anyway i'm gonna enjoy my smoothie and i'll talk to you guys later hello everybody it's like 3 30 now i just wanted to come in and give you guys a little update um first of all i feel like this happens every time i vlog this happened uh before but kickball was randomly canceled tonight which i'm like ugh, sad face because it's only like two weeks left and i think i'm gonna miss the playoffs and i'm just i'm so sad um but i just wanted to check in and let you know what my blood sugar was while well, i stutter um 179 so i'm doing good and yeah all i had for lunch was that smoothie and uh almonds that was it and i guess a beef stick i don't know but um I'm kind of done working for now. I'm just gonna relax. Dang, I was so excited to go to kickball tonight. Even though I can't play because of my arm, but the vibe is just fun there. So I guess that's not happening, but I am gonna try. It's a hefty task. Part of me wants to try and finish Breaking Bad tonight. I don't think that's possible. I think I have like seven hours of TV to watch and it's 3 p.m. right now and I do not want to watch seven hours of television today. Um, but we'll see what the evening holds. I might actually, it's really nice night out. A nice day, it's kind of windy, but I have a bunch of board games that are like solo mode and I kind of want to take them down to the pool where there's like a really nice big table and like just relax in the shade, but in the heat, in the outsideness. So I might do that. I also need to read my book, there's so much to do. So anyway, that's, that's just my little update for now. It's me just back with another update. Um, it's like 5.30 now. My blood sugar is 193, so I did super good all afternoon, which sometimes I struggle with high, sometimes I just do fine. So today I just seem to do fine, which is just what we want. Um, I did go down to the pool and like play games with myself for like two hours. No, maybe it was like one hour. It's like an hour and a half. But it was really nice down there. It felt really good to like not be staring at a screen and just like be outside. So I love that. Um, I'm not gonna eat dinner yet. I am having pot stickers that I'm going to steam and some rice and that's what I'm eating for dinner. Um, 
I'm like a little hungry now, but it just feels too early. So I'll just pick up the camera when I'm gonna eat dinner. Okay. Okay. Hello guys. Um, so I messed up just a little bit, not really, but I already ate dinner. Um, I did take a screenshot of my blood sugar right before I ate dinner and I pre bolused my insulin. Um, I was 185 before dinner. I didn't talk to you guys right before because I was on the phone. I was FaceTiming with two friends from home. Shout out to Alex and Liz. Um, but I was 185 before dinner and I've just been chilling on the couch watching Breaking Bad because it's getting to some really good parts. I've been like half into it, but now that it's like pretty much over, I'm really into it, which no surprise there. But um, I'm just going to hang out. I'm going to have a little snack later, some ice cream. I have a Ninja Creamy, so I might whip up some. I made some like chocolate ice cream that I want to make like a oh my god I want to make like a I say like all the time a chocolate frosty but I just remembered I have Reese's minute 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 oh my god miniature peanut butter cups I'm looking at them right now and that, that would be such a good thing to mix in but I don't know if I could do it maybe I will I kind of just wanted plain chocolate ice cream, but now, because there's no peanut butter in it. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe that's an idea for the future, but that's where I'm at right now. <sighs> Thank you for listening to me blab on. One other thing I might do this now, actually, is I have been on this quest recently to make a good spicy margarita. So I got tequila from Costco. Love it. It's actually really good. It was like 25 bucks for the whole bottle. It's the agave. It's the tequila añejo. It looks like, what if I drop this? It looks like that. Um, it's just Kirkland brand, but I've been on a quest to make my own like good <sighs> spicy margarita. And I made one the other day and it was like pretty good. Um, but I did get a uh, jalapeno limeade at Trader Joe's today. So I kind of want to make that. But I might wait a little bit. It's only like 7.15. 7.15 on the dock, go me. All right, y'all, it is suddenly 10 p.m. and I'm ready for bed. I'm so tired all of a sudden. I got through a lot of episodes of Breaking Bad. Um, and then the other thing that I was doing that I forgot to, got, to tell you guys was I restarted my Animal Crossing Island, like I deleted it. So I have a brand new island. Just did that like two days ago. So I'm re-addicted to Animal Crossing. Um, so I just built my shop tonight and I had to log on today because my museum was built. So that's very exciting, but I am exhausted. I am going to bed. My blood sugar is 247. So I kind of came up from dinner and didn't totally come down, but that's okay. I'm not like terribly, terribly high. Um, but I do have a mountain of dishes to do in there. So I'm going to get to that. And I think... I think that's it. I just wanted to do a vlog this month for you guys. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And oh, my cheeks are red for some reason. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.